It's Overreaction Monday here on Patriots Today. We're fired up after that just awful loss to the Dallas Cowboys yesterday. You better believe we got some thoughts to share with you here on today's program. Want to hear from you guys first. Give us your overreaction to the Patriots' loss. We'll get started with today's show. Bench Mac Jones and start Bailey Zappi? Maybe not quite just yet, anyway. Bit of an overreaction, but nonetheless, Mac Jones played poor, piss poor, terrible in yesterday's loss against the Dallas Cowboys. I think it's kind of too early to give up on Mac Jones just yet. But one of the things I would point to is that if you're looking for Bailey Zappi to be the savior of the season of sorts, to be the solution here, that ain't it. I can tell you that right now. The Patriots are not going to be in good shape, likely, with either quarterback, uh, especially if they go with the Bailey Zappi route. Mac Jones, I'm still willing to hold on to and see if he can get this going. Of sorts. Yesterday was maybe the worst game of his career. 12-21, 150 yards, no touchdowns, two picks. Uh, also gave up that fumble, which resulted in a touchdown. Ultimately, two defensive touchdowns came from Mac Jones' turnovers. And his numbers this season, I mean, you look going into yesterday, they weren't bad. But now here we are, and four games in, he's got four picks, five touchdowns, less than 900 yards in completion percentage, below 64%. And the Patriots are left scratching their heads, like, what is this here with, with Mac Jones? Like, we expected more out of Mac Jones, and he had showed some promise early on in the season. Yesterday was a huge step in the wrong direction. Meanwhile, Bailey Zappi, I got to tell you, like, Bailey Zappi, there's a reason why Bill O'Brien and Bill Belichick left him off the 53-man roster initially, why they've looked at other veteran quarterbacks, uh, you know, uh, throughout the last couple of weeks to be that number two quarterback, because they know what we all know, that Bailey Zappi isn't the answer either. So I lean towards Mac for now, uh, I want to give him a long leash, but if we continue to see more of the same, like we saw yesterday, then I guess Bailey gets a shot, and then you go from there. But for the time being, at least for the moment, I at least am still going to try to roll with Mac Jones and see if you can turn a corner. If not, then you start soul-searching for answers beyond that. Who should the starting quarterback be for New England right now? Should it be Mac Jones or should it be Bailey Zappi? What do you think? And I know some of you are going to be like, well, what about Malik Cunningham? Well, Malik Cunningham wasn't even active. So that's not happening right now. Uh, he's on the practice squad. Which one of these two would you like to see be the starter in New England right now? Type M for Mac Jones, B for Bailey Zappi, and let us know. Number two on overreaction Monday. The Patriots will be in the quarterback market in 2024. That, my friends, is not an overreaction. I think the more we see what we saw out of Mac Jones yesterday, then you start to wonder, all right, is it time to go find that next quarterback if things continue as they may? And if they continue as they are, it's not just going to be the quarterback position they're resetting on. I think you're talking about wholesale, fire sale changes potentially with this Patriots team. And I've sat here and I've said to you before that I like Mac Jones. I think that Mac Jones uh, has had his moments where he's shown that he could be a decent quarterback in this league, but the in inconsistency it's just too much, and yesterday was a prime example of that. Dan Graziano of ESPN uh, was talking about this in the future of the quarterback position for New England in uh, his column this morning, saying the Patriots are very undermanned at wide receiver. Jones has had three different offensive coordinators in three seasons. There is plenty working against him. But as we said about Desmond Ritter, the uh, Falcons quarterback, that's life, man. You have to overcome and Jones hasn't done much of it. And that's the problem is that, sure, you know, they haven't had the best resources, but he's still got to find a way to work through these problems. And the other part of it, too, is that the Patriots are going to have plenty of quarterback options next year. One of the best quarterback classes we've ever seen. We don't even have enough room on our graphics for all the quarterbacks next year with Caleb Williams, Drake May, Shador Sanders, Michael Penix Jr., Quinn Ewers. Uh, the list goes on and on, you know, when you're talking – uh, about these quarterbacks in next year's draft. It's a really good class, so you can move on from Mac, potentially go with those young quarterbacks. But then the veterans next year, there's going to be plenty of options there as well. Kirk Cousins is going to be a free agent. 
Kyler Murray is uh, going to be a prime trade candidate, assuming the Arizona Cardinals go get like a Caleb Williams or one of those young quarterbacks. Ryan Tannehill, Baker Mayfield, who looks really good right now for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's a free agent. Jacoby Brissett, who Patriot fans are very familiar with, of course. He's set to be a free agent as well. So with that said, it's put up or shut up time for Mac Jones. He's either got to, you know, shit or get off the pot at this point because right now it's not good enough. The Patriots have other directions they can go after this year. I would go with Mac over Bailey Zappi right now, but at least for plans of 2024, Patriots have plenty of options if Mac Jones can't put it together. Who will be the Patriots' starting quarterback in 2024? Seems like a long time from now, but it'll be here sooner than you think. Way in the comment section, tell us who you believe that 2024 starter will be. Today's show is sponsored by BetUS, the exclusive sportsbook partner of Chat Sports. If you go to chatsports.com slash bet, enter the promo code chat125, you will get a 125% deposit bonus. Put $100 down, you get $125 to spend for free at chatsports.com slash bet. Monday Night Football tonight. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, we have the Seahawks and the Giants. Should be a very good matchup and might be an elimination game of sorts in the NFC. And you better believe me, when you're talking about the New York Giants, we all know who we're rooting for. We're all Seahawks fans tonight here on Patriots Today. Uh, Seahawks, two and a half point favorites on the road. Give me the Hawks to win and cover that two and a half point margin. Total of 46 and a half. You can bet on your Patriots and NFL action all season long. Chatsports.com slash bet promo code chat125. Next at overreaction Monday, injuries. Are they too much to overcome for this Patriots team? Look, it's the NFL. Everybody gets banged up. Uh, nobody is ever going to be perfect when it comes to their injury report. But now where the Patriots are at with losing Matthew Judon and Christian Gonzalez, this team is going to have to do some soul searching. Uh, this guy is the heart and soul of this defense. Matthew Judon is coming off a fantastic season last year. He was off to a great start this year. And it's hard to imagine this Patriots defense being successful without Matthew Judon involved. And it sounds like he's going to be out for a while, as is Christian Gonzalez. Both players expected to miss a decent amount of time. And if you're not going to have those guys there, uh, then you got some big problems on your hands here. Who is going to replace that production, especially when it comes to Matthew Judon? Look what he's done through four games so far this season. 13 tackles, five tackles for loss, four sacks. Judon has been uh, incredible throughout the first few games, picking up right from where he left off last year. And then rookie Christian Gonzalez has been great uh, so far this season. 17 tackles, one tackle for loss, three pass breakups. And he's got the only interception the Patriots defense has had this year. We already know about the Patriots being shorthanded in the secondary here. You lose Christian Gonzalez. you got some big problems on your hands here as far as this defense goes. This Patriots team is uh, led by their defense. And if you don't have two of your best defenders, you got problems on your hands. Folks, we had a hell of a time on our watch party yesterday right here on Patriots Today. And we got some exciting coverage uh, coming over the next few days here on the channel. Subscribe now. Help us get to 6,000 subscribers, a little over 100 away from reaching that next milestone for daily Patriots coverage, breaking news, live shows, watch parties, mailbags, and more. Subscribe now for free. YouTube.com slash Patriots today. Out of the playoff picture, definitely not an overreaction based on where things stand for the New England Patriots. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that the Patriots are done, that the season is over, but... When you look at what is ahead of them, the challenges uh, in front of this Patriots team with a 1-3 and three record, it is a steep hill to climb for New England to get back in the playoff picture at this point. We already know about how tough the division is with Buffalo and Miami, how good they've looked with their 3-1 and one records to this point. The Bills getting a win over the Dolphins yesterday. The Jets with a loss to the Kansas City Chiefs in Sunday night football. The division race is a problem as is. But then you slide over to the wild card, and there's a lot of teams that are close to each other. Uh, obviously, you have three wild card spots in this current playoff system. So if the playoffs started today, the Dolphins, Steelers, and Browns would get those spots. So at the moment, the Patriots are only a game back uh, of one of those wild card spots. But think about all those other teams that they're competing with 
first set of wild card spots. I mean, the Jags have the same record as those two teams, and they'd be out of the playoff picture based on tiebreakers right now. So the Patriots have a long road ahead of them just to even be a part of the playoff equation at this point. Uh, we'll see what they do, but it's not looking pretty. We know that much. What are the chances the Patriots can still make the playoffs right now? Scale it for me, 1 through 10, in that comment section. Uh, 10 being they're going to go there for certain. 1 saying they have no chance to make the postseason. Chime in, tell us what you think the chances are of New England getting in the playoffs are at this point. Last an overreaction Monday, not an overreaction. The game is passing Bill Belichick by. Look, when you talk about Bill Belichick, the first thing that comes to mind is what he's done without Tom Brady. Uh, and it has not been good since Tom Brady left town, and now he's got another Super Bowl ring and retired. And the Patriots' success just simply hasn't been there. And here's the thing. Besides even Tom Brady and all that, just focusing on yesterday, you can't get handed the worst loss of your coaching career, losing by 35 more points than Belichick's ever lost to in his 29-year coaching career, and not look at the head coach and say something did not go right with the way Bill Belichick handled things. Belichick's a problem right now. Belichick is not making good decisions, and there's no one to blame for where this team is at more than Bill Belichick. I'll tell you why here in a moment. Let's hear from Bill first what he had to say about the loss to the Cowboys. I think at this point, I think we're doing a lot better. Uh, We're a lot better team than we showed out there tonight. But that's what we showed, and that's what it was. We've got a lot of work to do. Yeah, you do. You're one and three, and you just got your ass kicked by 35. Of course you got a lot of work to do. Belichick seems to think he has all the solutions. You know, he brings in Bill O'Brien as OC this offseason. He let Mac Jones have more say in the offense and invested in the defense. These were supposed to be his solutions. This is what Belichick thought he needed to do to get this team to get back in the postseason and compete in the playoffs. And so far, Bill, it ain't working. And this all is on you. You're the head coach. You're the general manager. No one is to blame more than Bill Belichick for where the Patriots are at right now. So with that said, we talked about Mac Jones' future. What about Bill Belichick's future? Will he be back in New England next year or not? Why for yes, in for no. Weigh in, tell us what you think, and we'll see you next time right here on Patriots Today. 